Operation Jib Safe is a force-wide initiative uh, and its objective is obviously to make Gibraltar a safer place that, that uh, everyone in Jib deserves. Uh, and we obviously prioritise uh, our policing activity in relation to the, our strategic objective. Uh, so within Jib Safe uh, there are three sides to it, a three-pronged attack you could say. Um, and that consists of Operation Trojan, Operation Safe Seas and Operation Drive Safe. So uh, let's talk about uh, Operation Trojan then, first of all. Uh, now, when we are talking about uh, antisocial behaviour, we are talking about things like um, underage drinking, um, loud noises, etc., that sort of thing. Is that what we're looking at? Yes, that's correct. So you would say in the estates where we know congregations of large numbers of individuals, the young and the not so young in, in estates, be it private or, or government, and then in local in areas, for example, Soccer Flang, Wellington Front, where the, the Bodiong sort of scenario is happening, um, we will be in those areas to ensure that there is no antisocial behaviour, that the uh, laws in relation to age limits for drinking are upheld, uh, and ensure, like I said, not stopping these events, the, the, our youngsters need to have areas to go to and, and things to deal with, but to ensure that they can undertake those events um, at this time of the year in a safe manner uh, and accordance to the regulations, both in law and obviously related to COVID as well. In terms of drive safe, now this is a targeted operation, but how does that differ from policing the roads on a day-to-day -day basis? Yes, obviously uh, drive safe is uh, a continuation of what we've done with, with Operation Roadwatch. Operation Roadwatch was a, uh, an operation that had specific periods during the year that we would, would tackle it. Uh, whereas Drive Safe is a 24 7, 365 uh, force wide objective. And here again, we will use the same uh, ethos as we're using with Trojan and in Jib Safe generally, and the same ethos we've used through the COVID policing, which is uh, engaging with the public making uh, awareness and obviously last resort enforcement. You will see that there are significant figures. For example, uh, 552 persons reported for using a mobile phone in a, in a year. Um, that really is a lot of people. That clearly those 552 people really don't realise the dangers they are um, creating for themselves and also the public. Go further in relation to driving under influence. This weekend we had three persons arrested for DUI. Um, and I just want to inform the public that we have a complete and utter zero tolerance um, policy in relation to those that are arrested for DUI. You will be charged. It is totally unacceptable, totally irresponsible. And turning to Operation Safe Seas, we're at the height of summer. Uh, people are using their jet skis and their small boats uh, out at sea. Uh, on a regular basis. What, in terms of a specific targeted operation, are you looking at? We're working in conjunction with uh, the Port Authority and other agencies, and basically it's a combined effort to, once again, to educate, to make the public aware of uh, rules and regulations uh, out at sea and within the harbour itself in relation to speed limits, appropriate navigation. There is more than just looking out for yourself. You really are the same as whilst on the road. It's really the same out at sea. You really do need to be aware of the surroundings and the people around you. And I can tell you that people have been warned and there are a couple of individuals that have actually had their, their appropriate paperwork removed from them, meaning that they won't be able to use them during the course of the summer, which obviously is, is the prime time that people want to use their vessels.